All right, everybody, are you ready? Let's get it. What's up, everybody? It's the bad boy of tech, Dan Tanner, and people, I got some outstanding and interesting news to talk about. You know what I'm saying? You know, if I fire up a video, like I've said before, which, which, which has proven to be true, man, you know I got that heat on deck. People, I got some Samsung news. I got an unboxing. I got some good news, and I got some bad news. And speaking of bad news, let's get to this first damn story. Let's get it. ACC's second quarter of 2018 results are in. Check this out. These cats that lost $3.4 billion. Let me say that again. $3.4 billion. That is sad because uh, it's, it's not even a surprise to nobody in the tech industry. They kind of knew that HCC was going to fall off and everything. And people, I got to get off the screen because I'm starting to get a little depressed. You know what I'm saying? A little sad, you know, but because my first Android phone was an HTC Evo. You know what I'm saying? The Evo is a legend in the form factor of Android. And for them to even fall off this bad, it's, it's a sad day in Android, especially to all the HTC supporters out there, the HTC owners that who love their products and everything. So HTC, I hope you guys go ahead and get it right. I'm glad you guys worked in your camera game, get the specs up the point, up, up the part and everything. That's great, man. Just don't lose focus and do whatever the hell you got to do to get your weight back up because anything can happen. But right now, 3.4 Billy, yeah. All right, everybody, let's get to the next story. Ha. Huawei fans, stand up because Huawei's been doing some trolling. Let's get it. This picture here, is nothing but a shit talking troll in Tana fashion. You know what I'm saying? Because people know that I troll and I roast people. But as you can see on the picture to your left, you got three phones, the P10 Plus, the Mate 10 Pro, the P20 Pro, and above the phones, you have the battery sizes, 3750, 4000, and 4000. Then to your right, you got Huawei with the list of the name of the three phones and everything. But ah, there's a question mark. But the last question mark has a surrounding bracket on it that's bigger than the other ones. So, hmm, what could that be? A bigger battery. That's right. Yes, indeed. So they're going to exceed 400, I mean, 4,000 milliamps. I was about to say 400,000. If they come out with 400,000 milliamps, how big would that damn phone be? But anyway, <laughs> they're going to exceed 400 milliamps. So who knows, 4,200, 4,500, we shall soon see when they release that device. That's what's up. Huawei, ever since the Nexus, what's that, the Nexus 6P, I knew you guys were a true game player and your future was bright. And just like that picture right there, it is what it is. Top shelf quality and evolution of your product. Keep that up. That's the nature of great and successful business is to keep growing and going and expanding and expanding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, but this next story right here is for the people like me. I'm a Samsung fanatic. I'm a Samsung Knight, people. So all the Samsung Knights stand up and all the Samsung Galaxy owners and whatever Samsung phone you got, stand the hell up to, especially if you're on the note side. You dig? Here we go. This color right here, this goes out to my boy, Sean. Sean. I know you were shooting for the for them to name this um, Sweet Sugar Brown or Foxy Brown or Pimp Brown or something like that, but nah, Samsung is gonna call this metallic copper. Yes, indeed. Because me myself, I was going for a sweet, what, 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 what Sweet Sugar Brown or something like that. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> so, something pimpish and fly. But I knew when I did that live stream with you guys, you guys were going nuts over this damn color. So they decided to call it metallic copper. So people comment below. Let me know if this color is for show. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, I, I kind of like the metallic copper name myself. Seriously, it, it's tasteful. It, it, it describes the the, the the color of the damn phone to a T. It's kind of metally and copper tone. I got it. I got it. But I know Sean was shooting for that, you know what I'm saying, that pimp brown like a mug. <laughs> well, all right, everybody, let's roll to this next story. You read the title of this damn video, so you know what it is. The Pixel 3 XL has been unboxed. Let's get it. This is what comes in the box. You get the charger port, of course. You got the dongle to your left, you know what I'm saying, in the left section. 
But then on the second half, you see a pair of headphones, a pair of earbuds to be exact. And on the tip of the earbuds is a USB-C connector, no 3.5 inch jack, meaning that the three, I mean, that the Google 3 XL doesn't have a headphone jack. But at least Google had the balls this time to put a pair of earbuds, complimentary earbuds that is, in the box for a 700 something dollar phone. That's what's up. So man, let me know, all my Google Pixel, Pixel fans who subscribe to me or who's watching this video, if you appreciate them putting some damn earbuds in the box for a change. Way to go, Google, that's what's up, man. People pay that much money, you deserve a complimentary pair of earbuds without a damn question. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, all right, everybody, that just about does it for this one. So if you like what you saw and like what you heard, please give your boy a thumbs up because that's official. And I appreciate that. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel to feel the whole swag and madness of Dan Tanner, then do that too because that's also official. And I appreciate that too. All right, everybody, huh. get money, get respect, and enjoy your tag. Be easy. Dig.